Hello guys and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we are over near the Allosaur enclosure um, and we're going to be building something pretty big in this area just here. So as you'll know from the title of the video, it's going to be a sauropod paddock. So that's going to have um, the Bronto and the uh, the Diplo in here as well. They're going to share an enclosure, and uh, but they are big. They are very big, probably one of the biggest things that we're going to be having here at the zoo. Uh, and we need to uh, have a big area for them. So that's what we're going to do here. I sort of flown over here and thought, this looks like a pretty good area. But it's going to be really difficult to build in because there's so much stuff here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely clear this area. And um, and then we'll, we'll be able to see what we've got. We can build it and then we can start putting things back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a S plus feeding trough down at the, in the middle here. Let me just check. We should be able to see the range, show feeding range. So they has a massive, massive range on these uh, S plus feeding troughs. But if you remember, I was, uh, if you watched my Ragnarok series at all, um, you'll remember that I was complaining that resources weren't spawning back and stuff. And I found out it was because of the... Um, the feeding trough they block spawns so this area that it's showing should have its spawn blocked so if i clear clear something it should stay cleared and then and, and until i've been building and uh, then we should be fine we can remove it and we can put things back so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to uh, get myself a bronto and uh, try and clear some of these trees with it um so i'm going to clear this area and uh, we'll come back. And, and as always, as always, um, what we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing a little bit of building. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what we'll do, we'll take a bit of a break, um, about halfway through the episode, something like that. And we'll go off and we'll name some of the creatures from the last episode that people have been requesting names for. And then we'll carry on with the building. And we'll see if I we get. So this is going to be another kind of two-parter. We'll do it today and tomorrow. We'll get this uh, large um, enclosure built. Uh, for these two dinos um, in, in the two parts. So, um, yeah, I will see you very shortly. All right, guys, I'm I'm clearing out this area and it's taking uh, weeks to actually uh, collect up things. And I can't swing again until it's done. If I, if I just move a little bit to a new area here, we'll crush this tree if we can. And I can't actually swing because I'm collecting stuff still. So you can see how it's going on. I don't think the um, the gather rates on the server are particularly high. Um, they are boosted slightly, but because it's Creative Series, I haven't really needed to worry about it. But I can't swing. can't swing. Technically, I think I'm still gathering stuff. I'm just uh, probably completely full. Things are still falling around around me. If I drop everything, I'm still collecting stuff. <laughs> so I can't. You can see, so that's long it's taken. I mean, he's clearing away a lot of stuff. Obviously, this is probably the quickest way of doing it. Um, I would imagine, but it uh, still takes a very long time to do. Uh, you can see how long things are taking. It's quite fun actually just to kind of sit here and just watch the uh, the bushes just fall. You can see them just falling like that. <laughs> but it's quite interesting because I'm uncovering these little ruins which I didn't have no idea that they were there. I think there's some um, explorer notes there. Now they're not going to help me at all here, but kind of I need to gather them up at some point anyway. So you get trees just randomly fall down because they'll. Uh, sort of, I guess you have to do them in turn. I still can't swing again. But yeah, so anyway, I just thought I'd give you a little update on that one. I'm clearing this area quite a lot. It's almost clear now, or at least as, it's as clear as I need it to be. Just want to have another quick sort of swing. Get a few more of these trees out of the way. That's really what I wanted to do, the trees mainly. Although these bamboo things that we've got around here are, take up a lot of uh, space and, and visibility. So anyway, we're almost done, then we can start the building. Alright guys, we are clear. So this is, well clear enough anyway, this is the kind of area that we're going to be having and I actually really like the uh, positioning of the um, the, the S plus um, feeding trough and the showing the range here uh, that kind of gives you a really good idea of the kind of scope, the kind of size that we're going for for, for this enclosure. Um, I wish I'd started this video earlier because this is going to take forever to do. Let's just uh, make it a little bit uh, brighter. Um, so we're going to start building. What the, the plan is, I'm going to have a kind of a, a, an, an indoor area for them to be in. I'm thinking that might just go over at this point here. And then I want to wall this entire place in. Um, we're going to have to figure out something because obviously the, at the moment it goes into the Allosaur enclosure, which obviously we don't want. So I could either move that to give me a better idea or, but, but to be honest, I don't really need to go any further outwards. We'll just incorporate it a little bit then. We'll, we'll bring the walls in this way slightly. 
Um, but yeah, but that's going to be a good kind of layout of the way how the land looks and stuff. It's reasonably flat, not too bad for building. A couple of areas of ruins, which are quite interesting, which I didn't know were here. So, uh, I'm going to get start building. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off um, in this area and we'll try and build... Oh, my God, they are so big. They are absolutely huge. I was going to build a kind of a, an indoor paddock, but... No, I definitely will, but that's going to be over here. I think I might try and lay out some foundations, try and get the right kind of size going, and I'll bring you guys back once I've kind of figured out exactly what it is I'm doing. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is the area that we're going to have. Now, it should be big enough for two behemoth gates side by side on the narrow edges, and I think that's probably big enough to get a couple of uh, Brontos in here. I mean, it's very small compared to how big they are, but... I don't know, it's going to, they are so big, it's so difficult to actually build an indoor shelter for them. Um, but I think that's what we're going to go for. We'll see how it looks when, when I filled it in. Uh, I think instead of trying to uh, fill this in completely with foundations, I'm going to go the slightly easier route of building out with ceilings. So we'll flatten this area out completely with ceilings, surround it with walls, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that looks. Um, when we've got one inside. I mean, most of the time, it's going to be mostly aesthetic. It's not really going to be serve a functional purpose because we we'll probably were going to want to have them outside, uh, you know, in the paddock itself. Um, so as long as it looks like they've got a shelter, it doesn't matter too much whether or not they can actually fit in. So, you know, there's, a, there's only so much realism I can actually uh, realistically do in this scenario. So we'll, we'll go for that one anyway. So I'm going to get this filled in. And uh, as I say, it should be big enough for like two of the behemoth gates to kind of sit side by side. So it, realistically, it's kind of a big enough shelter for two. Um, but obviously, we'll probably have more than that. We'll probably have a couple of Brontos, a couple of Diplos. We'll see how it looks like. I mean, we may have more, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get this filled in and, and uh, I'll bring you back when we're ready to build the next stage. Okay guys, here's the start of it. Um, oh god, it's taken such a long time to build, but I think it's going to look pretty good. So we've got basically a huge ramp at the, um, at the front here. This is going to be two gates side by side up on there. And then I've built another um, one which is sort of another gate wide so that we can actually uh, get them out again from the other side if they need to uh, go out into the paddock. Um, so that's the state of it right now. Now... Um, Actually, you know what I probably could do with building a, another wall, kind of mirroring what we've got here. Let's just have a quick uh, let's see if we can do that. So where do we want it? About here. So this is where we want to bring it in, like this. And we can get another one in there. Now what I need to do at this point is uh, just ghost underneath, just because I need to um, get one just under the ground like that. So that way I can actually build the walls uh, on top of it like this. So you want to go too high there, and then just come up uh, sloped. Into, oh, hang on, two, three on this point. I've run out of walls. So what I can do is then use these larger ones um, on this point here. And then we just need to get a couple more walls, some sloped walls, just to kind of match what we've got um, on that side there. And so that'll look quite good. Um, I'm a little bit worried about how flat this area is, but we can easily cover that with some trees and that sort of thing. So what I want to do um, is, I think th this episode we're going to be focusing mainly on this area. And then tomorrow what we'll do is we'll build out the rest of the paddock and decorate it. I think that's the plan, because this is taking a very long time to get done. But what I want to do is up here, I want a little visitor's area, where the visitors can come along and actually stand up on this ridge and uh, just look in down over the uh, the paddock so they can actually look inside. And I forgot I'm still still ghosting. Let me just quickly walk here. So they can come out here and they can just sort of look down, which I think that'd look pretty awesome. So uh, what I'll need to do is probably, how are we going to do this? This is so sloped. I kind of want to do it naturally, but then I wanted to put railings along the edge. Um, oh, I fell. <laughs> I'm going to fly. So I'm thinking what I could do is, I guess I could probably... If I can actually get it to fit in at all, will it? I don't think. Oh, I will. So I might be able to put a wall if I can find somewhere for these to snap to. So I guess let's try and get as high as I can. So we say there. And if I can get it to snap. Oh, no, it's not going to work, is it? Um, what about. Do I have any ceilings on me? I do have some ceilings still. So I guess I could bring this out a little bit and actually just come along 
like this and then we could probably build a wall up here to get the railings on. That might work, that might work. I'll, I'll play about with that in a moment. We'll see if I can get that to work. Um, the other thing I want to do is obviously probably wall this in a little bit. Um, and then I think what we probably could do, because these guys are so tall, I might put that one in here in a moment, is we don't need to worry about windows lower down, but we can just kind of go all the way along here with the walls. And then maybe they can probably stick their heads over the top there so we can wall in that. Not a bad idea. Let me get this guy in and uh, we'll see I we can get a better idea of the size. Okay, here we go. I've had a pretty good idea. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this area open completely. We'll build a ceiling going all the, all the way along the cr across the top uh, like this. But this area is going to be open and uh, it's in a little sort of area that the bronzer can stick his head out of. Uh, I think that'll look pretty cool. I don't think he's going to bang his head on this if we build it just like this. And it's a pretty good um, size window, I think, for it. I think it'll look pretty good. Just like that. I think that'll look pretty awesome. Now what we can do, um, I've taken away those that little bit that I built uh, just on the side there because we can actually build out from the back of this because um, you can place in the ceiling at any snap point um, on here and uh, we can actually just build it going across and actually build a walkway to come out so I think we can we can get something looking fairly decent here um, am I ghosting? no, okay, so uh, I think what I'll try and do is I'll try and get this back wall built out here maybe I'll try and place the gates in or something we'll see if, how much of this I can get done then I think we'll go off and we'll do a little bit of naming and then we'll come back and uh, finish this off so uh, yeah I'll join you back in a few moments all right here we go we're making really good progress on this now so I uh, place them by eye now I know they're not entirely straight but I think they're about as straight as I can actually try and get them because they are so difficult to place. Um, I, I probably could do better, but it would just take so long to do. And they're not that far out. So I'm happy to leave them like that for now. Um, so I've placed the, uh, the ring of ceilings going all the way around. Uh, they've got the gates in place. Uh, I've built up the walls at the front here. This definitely needs... We're going to have to put a load of trees in front of that to kind of cover it up. Because uh, it looks a little bit off. I guess what we could do is just maybe stick in another stone wall to come just just to match up to the front there that looks not too bad um yeah so we've got the gates in um yeah pretty it's a decent sized space you wouldn't want to get more than maybe uh, one or two in there which is a bit of a shame but what i've been working on mostly is this area over here now it doesn't look a lot from here now but it took quite a long time to build trying to get this uh, built out so we've got um basically just this wall comes up here just to going to give it some structural support and what I want to do is build some fences just to come around just on this edge to stop people from falling off um, and dying when they go down there. We can put some decoration on this little platform here. Uh, but the main part is they're going to come up up these steps here. We'll actually just switch these over to stairs as well. And because uh, the stairs just look better than the ramps if you're building something like this. Oh, ow. Don't know what happened there. A little bit of a lag. There we go. So that goes up to the top, and then we've got a little walkway so they can stand and look over here. Now, I'm tempted to put a glass ceiling in here so people can just walk right over the top. Um, it's possible. I might do that. Or we may just um, we'll put some railings along here, and uh, we'll build up a little peaked roof just so they can kind of look in. But we still need a cover over this as well. So still quite a lot to build still. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll take a quick little break. We'll go and name a couple of the uh, dinos from uh, last time. And uh, let me just um, stick a couple of walls in here just to kind of give a bit of structural support. There we go. That looks a bit better like that. Uh, yeah, so we'll go and do a little bit of naming and then we'll come back and we'll finish this off. So I'll meet you back over at uh, the other exhibits and we'll do some names. All right, guys, we've come over to the lake to do some naming of the Kairukus and Hersperonis. I'm going to rattle through these pretty quickly. So if you asked for a name, uh, keep listen. This is going to be for you. So we have Isaiah. It's the first Kairuku. We have Neo the Penguin. It's another one. Uh, we have Cullen Rooney. We have Dylan from uh, the Dylan Adventure. And we also have Shane. So that's one, two, that was, that was uh, five. So we've got five Karukus named. Thank you so much for requesting names. We still have another four, if anybody wants Karukus named after them. We've got four available. Uh, we have named one, uh, Hersperonis. This is Nicholas Kroll. And um, we have a whole bunch more Hersperonis. One, two, three, four, five. 
another six so we've got plenty still to go if you want any of those named after you make sure it is after you and not some random name they're the ones that i'm choosing now um so that's it we also have i have another name which i will do tomorrow and i also have another patreon to add to my patreon wall but that i will do at the beginning of next episode i think tomorrow's episode um and just in case you weren't aware i have a patreon server that's now available if you would donate uh i believe it's five dollars a month for my patreon you can then get access to the patreon server on the Ragnarok map um, if you, any uh, details you want to know please join my discord server uh, there's loads of stuff you can you can ask any questions there and find out a bit more about it but, but uh, yeah there we go so thank you for all those guys who've uh, guys and girls who have named uh, asked for names for these guys this is uh, for you so that's that done now let's get back to building and do a little bit more decorative work on the on the Bronto enclosure Okay, here we go back here. So I've just placed some railings around here. We'll put some plants and things in here, make this sort of just like a little pretty garden sort of area. I've fenced off the edge here so people aren't going to fall off into the Brontosaurus paddock. Um, now, also I think tomorrow we'll be working on a wall that goes around it. So we'll work on something to go along here to stop people from going into the actual area where the Bronto is going to be. Um, but I want to work just on this kind of area at the moment. So while we're doing that, just a quick note on the uh, the names. If you did ask for a name and you didn't get it just now, then uh, don't worry. I will be doing another sort of batch of naming tomorrow. Uh, I think I've got one or two names I, I've still got to do. So keep a lookout um, tomorrow for any names if you did ask for anything. And if not, then uh, don't worry. Then I do apologise. I can't fit everybody in. But uh, just keep watching and um, you'll hopefully get one at some point. Just keep asking as well uh, in the comment section. And uh, please do, if you do ask for a name, it would be nice if you um, uh, just sort of keep keep watching the videos just in case I do uh, name one after you. We don't want you to be uh, asking and I've already done it, if you know what I mean. So, okay, anyway, uh, let's put some railings around the sides here. Uh, I think we'll go along here. I'll need to obviously sort those out because they're not in the right line. That's the worst thing about the the S plus things. There are two different snap points. One's the wall, and one is the ceiling that we place on there, and it actually makes it very difficult to um, to place them on quickly. So we'll do that in a moment. Um, so railings around here. Now, what am I going to do for the roof here? I th I'm tempted to um, we def well, we need to cover it, I guess. I think what I'll do is we'll have a walkway going all the way around. I think that might be really good and uh, we'll put the railings on the inside and then we'll try and do a bit of a peaked roof over the top yeah let me see if i can do that so it's going to take a while to get me all these railings on and stuff i'll do that and we'll come back and we'll put the roof on all right guys here we go so i've placed the railings all the way around the outside and I think it's looking pretty good. Now the plan I want to do now is to place a glass ceiling going all the way over the top of this. Uh, so this whole thing is going to be encased in glass. We're going to slope it up as best we can. Corners are always going to be a little bit tricky with the slopes. Uh, but we'll see what I can, can do. Um, so I'm thinking we'll get that on. We'll probably end that episode after I've got the ceiling on. And then tomorrow we'll work on the uh, actual paddock itself. We'll finish off any decoration and stuff that we need to do for this area. Um, but yeah, but I think for today we're almost done. I'm just going to get this glass ceiling on, we'll see how it looks, and then we'll probably end it there. So I'm going to have a try and work on as best I can to try and figure out how to do this. Because um, let me think, I'm probably going to want to maybe come in a little bit and then. Yeah, I probably need to do that actually because I can't slope up from the sides there because they're just if I come on get on there. So if I want to slope it, that all it's going to do is slope downwards. But I want to kind of slope down at this point. So I'm going to want to uh, do it like like that. The only issue we're going to have is we can't intersect S plus stuff, and vanilla doesn't have uh, the kind of glass that we want. So. I'm going to think about what I want to do here. Um, I guess I could go all the way along like this and then on, on the edges just have it flat ceilings. That might work. That might work. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to build this and we'll come back. Alright guys, here it is. This is the glass roof. I've messed around with the um, model selector so we have these kind of metal beams going through to give it some structural integrity while still uh, allowing a really good view in and I've put the slight tint on as I always do with the glass in the zoo so you can kind of see that little bit of a sheen make it look like a, a glass rather than just empty space and there it is so this is it 
Um, I think we're going to leave it at here for today. This has taken me a really, really long time. Might not be a super long video, but it's taken me a very long time to get this done. Even in creative, it still takes a long time to get done. So in tomorrow's episode, we are going to be decorating this, making it look really, really nice. We're going to be putting in all the plants and uh, benches and things for the visitors. Make it look nice. We'll stick in a whole bunch of trees and things to kind of cover up the amount of stone that we have, that sort of thing. And then we'll also be working on the paddock as well. So we'll be building uh, a wall all the way around to keep them in so they don't go wandering off. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we'll be doing. Then we'll be sticking in some decorations in here as well. I'll probably leave the paddock fairly open. Um, but I'll put in one or two trees or something, you know, uh, I, don't want to, I don't want too much in here. I think having it pretty empty is actually going to look quite nice. But the wall all the way around will obviously will have something for the visitors to kind of walk all the way around the whole thing. That's similar to what we've done with um, with the Allosaurus. So they've got like a walkway going all around so you can look in. This is going to be on a much bigger scale. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with. But this is it. This is um, the entrance to uh, the little shelter area. And yeah, we'll need to wall off the spit so the visitors don't come in. And this little area here, we need to pretty up a little bit. Uh, maybe put some kind of proper entranceway, at least a sign or something to tell people what it is. But there we go. But that's going to be all for today. And it's now raining, so it's now a really good time to leave it. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed the video. And that you will uh, come back tomorrow um, <clears throat> for the completion of the sauropod paddock. I think it's going to look pretty cool and we'll name a couple more dinos so if you do want a dino named after you stick it down in the comments of this video and then we'll probably get around to it next week next weekend uh, to name the ones that you asked for today and um i've also yeah i've got the patreon to add to the patreon wall so there's, there's plenty of stuff to do tomorrow so i hope you're going to join me back for that one so i will say goodbye and i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>